Hi guys, how is everyone? Today, we will be starting with a new topic that is reported speech. So without much delay, let us go and learn what is reported speech. Now before I start this topic, I want you to go and tell your parents okay, that I said I am unwell. Okay? I'm sick today. I want you to go and tell that to your parents. Now, how would you go and say? Would you go and say, I am unwell? Or would you go and say, Ma'am Patricia said that she was unwell? Right? How would you say it? You would go and tell your parents that Ma'am Patricia said that she was unwell today. Right? So now, remember... When you go and report something to another person, that is known as your reported speech or your indirect speech, okay? Reported speech or your indirect speech. It means that, okay, when someone else reports what a character says or said. So, for example, you went and told your parents that I was sick, okay? So, you are the someone else. Okay, who is going and telling your parents about the character that is me. Okay, so remember, okay, in reported speech, okay, someone else reports how the character, okay, uh, what the character says or what the character said. For example, if you look in the picture, you can see an image of these two boys, okay, and he is telling this boy that I fell down the stairs. The boy who is hurt is telling his friend, I fell down the stairs, okay? Now, his friend is going and telling another friend, he said that he had fallen down the stairs. So, that is your reported speech. Whenever you are conveying the same meaning, but the words are different. Or over here, you can see the lady saying that she is talking on the telephone and she's saying, I like Peter. She's telling her friend that she likes Peter. And then her friend could not keep that information to herself. She goes running directly to Peter and she tells him like, she said that she liked you, right? Okay, so this is all about your reported speech. Now let's see the rules, okay? When you are going to change uh, direct speech into indirect speech or vice versa, what are the rules you need to follow, okay? So, in your uh, content book, it has been given reported speech. But remember, reported speech and indirect speech are the same, okay? Now, let's see the rules. Your questions will be in direct speech and you may have to convert it into indirect speech. Direct speech is the speech that a person says directly. For example, this one is your direct speech, okay? And this one becomes your indirect speech or your reported speech. So, there are some rules to keep in mind when you are changing uh, direct speech to indirect speech or vice versa. So, let's go and look at these rules. I'm going to make it very, very simple for you. And this is a topic which you will even be learning in your higher classes. So, let's... Um, Learn it well so that will be easy for you in your higher classes. So, let's look at the rules. The first rule, okay, that we need to follow is the change in the introductory verb. Now, over here, says. Can you look at the word says? Says and said is your introductory verb, okay? When your introductory verb is same tense, then... You will automatically notice, okay, that when you change it to indirect speech, okay, this verb will also be in the present tense. Okay, remember when uh, Nikki says, so the word over here says, okay, is your introductory verb. Okay, when this is in the present tense, then when you are converting it into indirect speech, okay, Again, you will use says over here also. Nikki says, but, okay, but. Now, if you notice over here, okay, 
this will be in your present tense okay this will also be in your present tense now let us look over here john said now if you notice said is in your past tense so when this introductory your past tense then the indirect speech also will be in the past tense and you will see that the verb over here is also in the past tense can you see the difference nikki says i like dancing this is a sentence in the present tense nikki says that she likes dancing okay so again it's in the present tense john said i like dancing okay but over here you can say john said that he liked dancing so remember when this said is in your past tense automatically this verb also changes to the past tense okay so that is your inter introductory verb now let's look at the next rule our next rule is punctuation when you uh, talk in direct speech you will have punctuation when it is converted to indirect speech you will not have punctuation you will only have your full stop okay so for example over here nikki says i like dancing so after nikki says we have this comma okay so the comma disappears in the indirect speech you will not find it over here and it is replaced with that okay and you can see this quotation marks over here and over here these quotation marks also are removed okay so this is about your punctuation remember in the direct speech we have your comma and we have your open quotation and close quotation marks whereas in your indirect speech we do not have any quotation mark except okay we only have your full stop clear in the same way over here the quotation and the comma is removed and it is replaced okay the comma is replaced by that and like the same it will have your full stop okay so remember about the punctuation our next is your change in pronouns okay the next rule is your change in pronouns now when somebody speaks in the direct speech okay you will see pronouns like i Nikki says, I like dancing. Now, we know that Nikki is a girl, okay? Now, I'm going to tell somebody that Nikki uh, said she liked dancing, okay? So, I will say, Nikki says that, remember, the comma is replaced by that. I is replaced by she because Nikki is a girl. If it was a boy, we would use he. Like, again, will become likes, okay? Dancing. Another example, John said, I like dancing, change in pronoun. John is a boy, so the he. Nikki and John, they are two people, so we are using we. In the indirect speech, we will say, Nikki and John said that they liked dancing. So look how the pronouns change, okay? Look at the person. If the person is a male, use he. If the person is a female, use she. If the person, they are two, you can use they okay in the indirect speech for example of here we have a picture the teacher is strict now we know uh, that this teacher okay the teacher is strict over here they are not giving us any uh, male or female okay so you can say that she said that the teacher was strict because the person talking is a lady okay again the teacher is giving everyone an a again we do not know okay that the teacher is a male or a female so we will use the teacher but we know that the person reporting it is a boy so we will say he said the teacher was giving everyone an a so remember okay uh, pronouns change in pronouns are very important okay the next one is your change in verb okay nikki says i like dancing i already told you this before now the verb it's Whenever the tense that is says, this also will be in the present tense. Whenever this is in the past tense that is said, this automatically changes to the past tense. Okay. So Nikki says, I like dancing. Over here also you will say, Nikki says that she likes dancing. You will find that this verb is also in the present tense. But over here, 
John said, I like dancing. Look at how it has converted. Because this is in the past tense, this also becomes in the past tense. So John said that he liked dancing. Okay. Now our next, okay, is in the change in auxiliary verbs. Now remember, auxiliary verbs are helping verbs. Okay. We can also call them as helping verbs. Remember, Nikki says, I am leaving today. If I remove this am, Nikki says, I leaving today. Is this sentence correct? No, it's not correct. So I need to use am, okay? So over here, words like am, is, are, was, were, okay? Had and have. These are all helping words. They are also known as auxiliary verbs. Once you are a little grown up, you will learn more about this, okay? But in the lower classes, we just call them like helping verbs. They are helping the main verb. Leaving is your main verb and these are giving a helping hand because leaving cannot be used alone. So over here, just see, Nikki says, I am leaving today. Okay, so you would find, you would see a change, okay, because we cannot use she and am. Nikki says that she is leaving that day. John said, I am leaving today. Again, John said that he was leaving the, that day. Remember, okay, uh, if this is says, this will become is, okay, or are, depending on the subject. Mm. If this is said, that means in the past tense, this automatically becomes was or were, depending on the subject. If I had, for example, uh, two people over here, I would not be using is, I would be using are, isn't it? In the same way, okay, over here also, if I had two people, I would be using were, okay? So, remember, change in auxiliary verbs. These verbs are known as auxiliary verbs. They are your helping verbs, okay? And the last one for today is your change in adverbs. Now, this is very, very important. You need to memorize this, okay? Nikki says, I am leaving today. Now, when we change it into indirect speech, okay, today becomes that day, tomorrow becomes the following day, okay, or um, yesterday becomes the day before, okay, the day before yesterday becomes two days before, tomorrow, as I already told you over here, the next day or the following day, the day after tomorrow in two days time, Next week, the following week, next year, the following year, last week, the previous week, last year, the, the previous year, a year ago, okay, a year before, the previous year. So, remember, if the sentence was, Nikki's, uh, Nikki says, I am leaving, uh, say, for example, tomorrow, then over here, I would have to say, Nikki says that she is leaving the next day, right? Or, for example, over here, John said, I am leaving tomorrow. John said that he was leaving the following day. If this one over here is, for example, uh, last week, John said, I am, uh, I am going to leave last week. Okay, then in case of last week, you will use the previous week. So, I want you to remember this. You can buy hard this. Oh, you can even take it down in your copy. And this is very important for you. So, remember, okay, about all the changes. We had change in adverbs, okay. We had change in your auxiliary verbs. We had change in verb, okay. We had change in pronoun. We had change or punctuation. And we had change in the introductory verb, okay. So, that's all for today. Okay, that's all for today's topic, okay, that is reported speech. If you have any doubts, feel free to give me a call or to message me and I'll be happy to solve your problem. So have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.